Watch you guys, I get asked this question quite a lot on Discord and I wanted to make this video so to show you how to fix it, to restore all policy settings on Windows 10. Now, if you're one of these people that like tinkering with your operating system or maybe you've had some sort of virus or something like that, you may see some of these settings are hidden or managed by your organization. This is very common when you use techniques like registry tweaks to turn off certain features, telemetry, location, and all those things. These are pretty common today with Windows 10 because a lot of people like to turn a lot of stuff off. Now, maybe it's not you and you're sharing your computer with another family member, and maybe they've gone ahead and done all these uh, settings for you. And now you want to remove them so you can update Windows or use your PC the way it's meant to be used by using some of these features. Maybe it's malware that's made changes to your registry. I'll show you how to fix it. So why do you get this message and why do you see these restrictions? Well, a lot of these restrictions can be done in a bunch of different ways. The most common ways are group policy editor, which allows people to put policies in place to stop certain features from working and toggle things on and off via the group policy editor. Now, this is only for Windows 10 Pro, but these policies basically create registry keys in your registry to toggle features on and off by using an enable or disable feature like one or zero. And people have learned these policies and basically implement them on Windows 10 home versions by doing registry tweaks. You've seen me do those in my videos before. Now there's also software like WPD and ShutUp10 and a load of other types of software that can actually make changes to your system to literally block a lot of telemetry and privacy concerns and things like that on Windows 10. They're pretty common and a lot of people use them. Sometimes someone may have run this on your PC and then removed the program at some point and now you can't remember how they've got on there. But you can also check the registry. There's loads of places in the registry where people will put settings and tweaks to sort of basically uh, stop telemetry and make changes to privacy settings and other things like that. I'll show you a, a couple of them here so you can basically see. Uh, what they look like when they've put a registry key inside your registry and it will basically stop a certain feature working properly because of the policy that is set in place uh, in the registry. And it's the same thing with group policy here. So when we go down here, we can see here is a typical area and you'll see when it comes under policies here and you'll see Explorer and System. And you'll see a bunch of policies in place here to disallow certain things running and things like that. The same thing under system as well. These are the system things like disabled task manager. And there's other policies as well, which are to do with Windows telemetry and privacy settings like push notifications and other policies like that, which can be put in place. So if you don't know exactly how it got onto your PC, which is what a lot of people normally say when they come to ask for help on our Discord server, it's normally, which I tell them, is a policy setting. And unfortunately, there's tons of places to look for these particular things that have been set in place. As you can see here, they're all over the place. They're on current user and also local machine as well. And there's another policy, Microsoft, Windows, as well when you go into the Windows Store here. There's another policy here and there's a bunch of other ones in here. So I've added a few in just to show you exactly uh, what they look like. And you can see here push notifications is inside here and there's a bunch of push notifications in here as well. And there's a list of them there. So how would you go about finding all of these if you don't know where they are? Uh, it will be quite a difficult job because they can be just about anywhere inside that um, registry. And if you're not used to working inside the registry, it can be pretty daunting. So let me just show you exactly how you can go about removing these in the registry. And you can see there's other uh, restrictions here as well uh, put on this system. And malware can do this also. So let me quickly show you basically how we're going to remove all of these restrictions and policies that have been set in place on this Windows 10 system uh, and get it back to default settings here. 
there's quite a few ways of going about it. You can open up a command prompt and run this as administrator like this and physically go in here and remove them one at a time. Or you can make a batch file with a bunch of locations in that batch file to remove uh, certain registry keys uh, from their location. As you can see here, I'll just quickly uh, type this out and I'll show you. I'm not going to do it this this way because this is the long winded way and you'd have to know all of the locations to put inside uh, the batch file and run it. And uh, I will show, I'll put the list of these in the video description for some of the common places where these uh, reside and how you can remove them. So I'll just finish uh, typing this out. It does take a bit of time here. So we've got current version. As you can see, this is a, a location in the registry, H key current user software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, policies, and also you're just going to finish this off with space forward slash F and then push that. And you should see the operation has been completed. That would have removed all of the policies in that location and removed them. Now, this is a much easier way. Let me show you how to do it this way. So put this command in here. And uh, like I said before, these are group policy uh, policies in place. So these are for all users and a single user. So basically all the users on the system type those two commands in push enter, and then you can update the uh, policy just to make sure. So force the GP update dot exe space forward slash force, push that push enter. It'll update the policy list. And if you, you ever look inside the registry, let me just quickly show you. You can see all these policies here. Let me refresh and they should be all gone. There we go. And it's removed every single policy inside the registry. So there'll be no policies in place and no restrictions for any of those because they've been removed. And that's basically how you can do it much more easier and quicker. Let me just show you here and show you all of the areas on the PC now. So you can generally see we do need to restart the PC just to make sure that all of those policies are removed. And I'll quickly do that and I'll show you inside here. Let me go back into the start button here and click settings here. And once we get inside here, we can check out some of the areas that had policies in place. So go uh, privacy here. You can see all the policies have been removed, although they are still off, but you can toggle these back on there. You can actually edit these yourself and all the policies have been removed from here as well. And it's the same thing for task manager. All those policies have been removed. And the same thing for any other policy that would be on this PC. They've been uh, reset, basically. And I'll just show you a couple of more here that had restrictions on them. So you can basically see that it has been reset. The RUM box is opening fine now. That's been removed. And the same thing for uh, the updates here. Let me just show you the Windows updates that had policies in place. And they've now been removed. You see everything is working as it should be. So that is basically it. That's basically how you can restore all policy settings to default on Windows 10 using that method there. It's very quick and simple and easy to do. No hunting for them inside the registry. I just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great weekend and I shall see you again real soon. Bye for now.